Healthcare Reform Program. The title of the program is Healthcare Reform, uh, what the law means to you. There are a variety of things in the bill, um, and I want to give you some information about those. One is, and you've been, you've been hearing a lot about this uh, in this week, in the last two weeks, and that is the beginning of the closure or elimination of what we call the donut hole or the coverage gap in Medicare Part D prescription drug coverage. The most dramatic changes are going to be in the private insurance market. And I think it's fair to say that, dramatic as they are, we didn't enact a national health insurance system. Uh, we didn't enact anything called Obamacare. There's still going to be a great deal of variation and chaos in our insurance market, even after all these reforms go into effect. MRIs will be covered, for example, for high-risk patients for screening for breast cancer. There's an end of pre-existing conditions as uh, a reason for withholding uh, health insurance for somebody, for children, and that becomes effective for all adults in 2014. And so that means that, for example, somebody who is uninsured and comes to the breast clinic and has a big advanced breast cancer despite having a breast cancer, they're still going to be able to get insurance which is going to cover their care. Um, yes, sir. Believe that there should be transparency? Well, it depends upon who in the medical community you're talking about. <laughs> People were amazed that Lipitor at Rite Aid, Rite Aid on 34th Street was $15 more expensive than Lipitor at a Rite Aid on 38th Street. Because everybody thought, well, I know the paper towels can cost different amounts of money, but the drugs must all cost the same. This is, it's by no means universal, you're right. We're still likely to, we'll probably only have 94% of the population covered when all is done. But that's a lot better than where we are now, including in New York State, where we have a six, 15 or 16% of the population between two and three million uninsured, we're likely to have two million of those, or close to it, covered um, at the end of this process. So it's not getting worse. Mm -hmm. 